Here we are inside of the Photoshop Elements 12 organizer. And we'll just take a fast look around. There's a couple of basic areas. There, on the left hand side you have your folders over here and your albums, all this kind of fun stuff. You also can create new albums down here. You can learn more about your mobile albums. This is a new feature here inside of Elements 12. You can change the look of your folders right there if you want to. You have your import options up here. Now I began with just a basic import just to have some stuff in the screen here. We'll be using some of these pictures in our training. But we'll be looking at importing in greater depth a little later on. But basically, just to get you started, you can import, go up to your import, go to files and folders or from your camera or from a scanner or you can search and then just bring those right into the program. Now when you bring files into the program you're not moving the files into the program you're just creating a link to your original file. This is, this is just a catalog that catalogs your pictures. Each one of these could be in different locations and organizer will remember that and be able to then show the thumbnails for those. Only thing that's really stored in the program is just the thumbnails for the pictures. Now across the top here you can change the look. I don't have any people pictures in here. You can have place pictures, events. This is if I have tagged things with different tags and I haven't done that yet. We'll be looking at that later on. But when you have your tags and you can come in here and quickly narrow down your listing or what is it you're looking down here by these different tabs. Across the top, of course, the standard menu structure is pretty straightforward, pretty easy here inside of the organizer. The two main things you want to be aware of is working with your catalog. Right here you can have more than one catalog if you want to. Edit as typical stuff and then find this is the most important menu in the organizer. This allows you to search for and find pictures that match certain criteria. As you add in tags and additional organizational elements into your different pictures, the find menu will become far more useful for you. Let's look around a little more in here. If we scroll down towards the bottom of the screen, there we go. Across the bottom you have some fast buttons down here. Here's a button for going to the editor if you want to. Making a slideshow, add event, add places, add people. So all of these allow you to put tags for people, places, and events onto your pictures. And you can then find those more easily. You can undo, redo, you can hide a panel, you can rotate your pictures around. You can zoom in and out right over here. Little zoom in and out control just like that. Pretty easy to use. If we go over here to the right hand side. There we go. A couple more things. Instant fix and tags and info down below. Let's scroll towards the top a little bit. There we go. I think look at the right side. I just opened up that instant fix in here, some fast fix options. All this kind of stuff is actually better done over in the editor. But inside the organizer you can do this on multiple files pretty quickly and easily. Here we have the create and the share options as well. Now share used to only be over here in the organizer. In version 12, one of the new features, this is now shown over in the editor as well. Basically if you're working with a lot of pictures at once, you're just kind of doing organizational stuff or just some basic fixing or some basic sharing, it's easy to do that inside of the organizer. If you're working on individual pictures and you're getting more creative with how you're working with those pictures and doing fancier fixes and so forth, that's better done over in the editor. Okay, let's move on to the next video and take a fast look at the editor. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.